in cooperation with the civil defense authorities in this area, we present No Second Chance. Please stand by. <laughs> Program interruption during the preceding 30 seconds was a Connell Rad radio alert test. Connell Rad? What is Connell Rad? Connell Rad can mean the difference between life or death in the event this hemisphere is attacked by an enemy. This station presents transcribed an authentic explanation of why our national security demands Connell Rad and why you, the radio listener, must know the meaning of a Connell Rad radio alert. Without this knowledge, should an enemy attack, you could have no second chance for survival. This is why our nation must have Connell Rad. You are listening to one of several jet bombers miles in the air. You hear the roar after the bombers have passed over your head. You hear it this way because these bombers are traveling faster than sound. Now, you are inside one of the jet bombers. There is no roar because you are traveling faster than the speed of sound. Only the faint tone of the wind whistling by is heard. You are in a special place in the bomber, the navigation section, and you are looking over the shoulder of the navigator. He is wearing earphones. All around him is intricate electrical equipment. Spread out in front of him is a complete map of the North American hemisphere, the surrounding lands and oceans. Directly before his eyes is a large radio compass. At the moment, its needle is turning around and around. Now, with one hand, the navigator reaches out and grasps a single control knob, one marked antenna. He turns it until he hears a particular radio program. He tunes it in as you tune in a station on your set until it is sharp and clear. Immediately, the radio compass needle stops turning. It stops on an exact direction. The jet bomber changes course slightly. Now, though hundreds of miles away, the plane is pointed right toward that station. It is homing in on the powerful signal of that radio station. From his logbook, the navigator knows the exact land location of the station. He now adds another segment to the zigzag line on his map, the line which represents the jet bomber's course. In a moment, the navigator will repeat this procedure, homing in on another radio station signal. Each time he does, the jet bomber draws closer to this hemisphere, closer to its target. In the belly of the plane is a missile for that target, an H-bomb. This is an enemy bomber. Now, for the purpose of our demonstration, you are on Earth. Somewhere on this hemisphere, at an isolated listening post. Sensitive radar ears have picked up the jet bombers. The radar operator can identify them only as aircraft. Immediately, he calls filter center. Unidentified aircraft approaching from 280 degrees at 35,000 feet. Repeat, unidentified aircraft approaching from 280 degrees at 35,000 feet. At the filter center, the course of the unidentified aircraft is minutely plotted. At the same time, this warning is relayed to Air Defense Command and 
to the nearest interceptor air base. Scramble one, angels at 35,280 degrees. At the interceptor base, the message is repeated for accuracy. Scramble one, angels at 35,280 degrees. Even as he is talking, the operator is reaching for the field telephone, a direct line to the pilot's quarters over the jet hangars. At the hangar, an airman answers the telephone, listens. Then he repeats into the public address system. Scramble one, angels at 35,000, 280 degrees. Moments later, there is the sound of jet interceptors whining into life. At the same time, the hangar doors yawn open. A ribbon runway stretches out in front. The pilot climbs up into the cockpit. Then the jet bursts into life. It rockets down the runway, thrusts itself into the sky. Then another follows. A scant two minutes have elapsed from the receipt of the alert until the time the jets are airborne, streaking toward the oncoming unidentified aircraft. Meanwhile, at their home bases and at every interceptor base in the immediate area, the alert has been sounded. Other pilots and planes stand at the ready, waiting. Minutes later, the interceptors approach the unidentified aircraft. Their commander's voice calls back. I count six bomber type. No identification as yet. Closing in. This warning is immediately relayed to Air Defense Command. An officer picks up a special telephone. Instantly, he is in contact with all other Air Defense Command posts and civil defense authorities. He speaks into this private line a single code word, one which changes regularly and which indicates a yellow alert for unidentified aircraft. For our demonstration, the word is... Molasses. Roger Baker, repeat. Molasses. Roger Baker. On the other end of the line, air and civil defense repeat the code word and give their initials. At this same time, certain radio stations also receive this code word. Meanwhile, to the northwest, miles in the sky... Interceptors have rushed into the formation of unidentified bombers who immediately open fire. Target identified as enemy aircraft. Six four-engine enemy jet bombers. Course estimated heading 100 degrees. The squadron commander calls his base giving positive identification, number of planes, and estimated course. This information is flashed to Air Defense Command. Over its private line, ADC passes along another code word. For our demonstration purposes, that word is... Iceberg, Roger Baker. Repeat, Iceberg, Roger Baker. Iceberg, in our case, means a red alert. To you, Mr. and Mrs. Radio listener... This is the operation you must know. It can save your life in the event of an enemy attack. Listen now. During an enemy raid, there will be no second chance. This is an explanation of Conrad. At such time as a red alert is given, you will hear air raid sirens. Precisely at the same time, on your radio, in your home or automobile, no matter to what station you are tuned, you will hear the same 1,000 cycle tone with which we open the program. That tone will continue for exactly that long, 15 seconds. Then your announcer will say, We interrupt our normal program to cooperate with security and civil defense measures as requested by the United States government. When you, the listener, hear that beginning paragraph, pay close attention. The announcer will continue by telling you that this is a Connell Rad radio alert, adding that normal broadcasting will be discontinued. The announcer will then state where you can receive the only authentic information. In our demonstration, here is what he will say. 
Civil defense information will be broadcast in most areas at 640 and 1240 kilocycles on your regular radio receiver. Your radio announcer will then repeat the above information. He will conclude by telling you that 640 and 1240 kilocycles on your radio are the only two places where you can receive official civil defense programs. Remember, the enemy or his agents will try to cause panic. So other programs on your radio dial during a red alert will not be official. Remember, no radio program during a red alert will be official unless it is Connell Red. Upon receiving a Connell Red alert on your radio, set your radio dial at 640 or 1240 kilocycles and keep it there for official news, information, and instructions. Should the local electrical power be disrupted, remember to set your automobile receiver on one of these two Connell Rad frequencies. The cancellation of regular radio broadcasting from this and all other stations during a red alert is to prevent enemy planes from homing in on a radio station's broadcasting signal. As we explained in the earlier portion of this Connell Rad demonstration, enemy navigators in jet bombers, knowing the land location of each radio station on this hemisphere, could listen to selected stations and, by following their broadcasting signal, precisely plot the bomber's course to its destination. Connell Rad eliminates this. The programs you will hear on 640 and 1240 kilocycles on your home or car radio set will come from many stations, but only for intervals of seconds and never in any set pattern. With Connell Rad, during a red alert, an enemy navigator will hear a radio signal from one direction in one moment. In the next, he will hear the same signal coming from another direction. A moment later, that signal will come in from a different direction. The enemy navigator, therefore, cannot plot an accurate course. He cannot home in on our radio signals. You, however, will always hear the Connell Rad signal on your radio at either 640 or 1240 kilocycles. The word Connell Rad, C-O-N-E-L-R-A-D, is vitally important to you. Only through Connell Rad broadcasts will you be alerted before a raid. Only through Connell Rad will you receive authentic information on what to do during and after an attack. Conrad is for your safety, should an enemy attack. Know what you must do. If you do not, you may have no second chance. Please stand by. This has been a Connell Rad radio alert test demonstration. The program No Second Chance was written by Jack Kessler, directed by Eric Howlett, and produced for the National Office of Civil Defense by WJR Detroit. Our program cast appeared through the cooperation of the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists.